गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री द स्पेलिंग ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इज टी आर आई जी ओ एन ओ एम ई टी आर वाई ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री वर्ड्स ट्राई मीन्स थ्री गोनो मीन्स एंगल्स एंड मेट्री मीन्स मेजरमेंट सो ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इज बेसिकली अ ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक दैट डील्स विथ मेजरमेंट ऑफ साइड्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल एंड इट्स थ्री एंगल्स right so trigonometry you can define it by the very definition that is trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that deals with the measurement of three sides of a triangle and the three angles of it respectively now the trigonometry has a very significant important role in various applications it deals with the distance slope and height in regard to your aviation industry your sound and light wave propagation then making of various maps so that's why it is a very important subject of mathematics now what are the things that you require while dealing trigonometry now trigonometry as you know deals with the sides of uh, sides and angles of a triangle so why this geometrical shape is being used now you your mind must be clicking with a question that why triangle ma'am or why this geometrical figure is being used now let us take another example like various shapes of uh, you know different different uh, shapes we are going to take first is a triangle then a circle then a square rectangle and then a hexagon so all these geometrical shapes you are seeing here have different varieties of sides and angles like in triangle we have three sides three angles in circle there are no sides just circumference then in square we have four sides and four angles so all these figures there's only one geometrical figure you are seeing which is having three sides and three triangles which is what a triangle so triangle is a perfect shape for studying trigonometry again in trigonometry the triangle is very specifically chosen which is having one angle as 90 degree so in order to study or understand trigonometric ratios and relationships we need a right angle triangle so what do you mean by a right angle triangle a right angle triangle is a triangle which is having at least one or at most one angle of the triangle as 90 degree so you can define a right angle triangle as a triangle which is having its angle as 90 degree one angle as 90 degree is known as what your right angle triangle now in order to start the trigonometric relationships you need to understand what these sides are termed in this trigonometry subject right this trigonometry chapter so let us assume or let us take a right angle triangle abc which is right angled at angle b so you can see angle b is what right angle you can see here that angle b is at 90 degrees now this right angle triangle has sides ab bc and ac now you can see there is another triangle let angle c be theta so theta is another angle with respect to this we are going to study all these ratios which will be dealt in for the uh, lecture right so you can see this is the angle c that is theta now the side opposite to theta is what ab so the side opposite to theta is known as perpendicular or it is known as opposite fine so ab is what opposite or it is known as perpendicular this is the side opposite to theta now the side adjacent to this theta now the side adjacent to this theta is what this is known as your base or this is known as your what adjacent now the longest side of this right angle triangle is what this is side ac and this is known as hypotenuse so in this right angle triangle angle b is at 90 degree angle c is called theta the side opposite to theta is line segment ab which is known as opposite or perpendicular the longest line segment of this right angle triangle is what or the longest side of this triangle is what ac which is known as hypotenuse and the side adjacent to this theta is what your line segment or side what bc so all these are the terms that you need to know in this right angle triangle using which we are going to deal with the trigonometric relationships and ratios fine so once again i am going to show you the same figure this is a right angle triangle abc which is right angled at angle b then there is an angle theta the side opposite to theta is what ab this is also known as perpendicular then the side adjacent is known as what bc and the longest side is what hypotenuse so this is the relation that is being shown now we have to start studying trigonometric relationship now one thing you need to know is that this trigonometric relationships are 
you know build on the basis of two things that is standard angles and then we need what trigonometric functions so the standard angles which you need to remember always is 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degrees Whereas the trigonometric functions that you need to study are sine, cos, tan, cot, cosec and sec. The names, once again, I'm going to, uh, you know, put it in your mind. That is the trigonometric functions and the trigonometric relationships which, are, which we are going to derive are based on the basis of what? Some standard angles which are as follows. 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degrees. You have to remember this angle on the basis of these angles only we are going to you know derive what trigonometric functions or the trigonometric ratios fine now you can see here the trigonometric functions are as follows sine right the short form we write as sin mm -hmm. sine then there is a cosine with the short form is cos mm -hmm. then it is tangent which we write short form as tan then it is what your cosecant that is written as uh, cosec then your second is written as sec and then your co cotangent is written as cot Fine. So these are all the trigonometric functions that you need to know. Now we will define these trigonometric relationships with respect to the angle theta which we have already seen in uh, previous right angle triangle where angle C was named as angle theta. So again let me take the same example of right angle triangle ABC which is right angled at angle B and then at angle C we have the angle theta. The side opposite to this theta is known as what your perpendicular or opposite. The side adjacent is known as base or it is simply known as adjacent. Then the longest side of this right angle triangle is your side AC which is known as your hypotenuse.